Welcome to White Shadow Fair, where we're making it homemade and we're making it with love. Today, we're making Asiago sourdough bread. You're going to start with a thousand grams of flour. And now you're going to measure out 200 grams of active starter. To the starter, add 660 grams of water and then mix to combine. Now at this point, you're going to be mixing the starter and the flour, and it might feel like you're not gonna get the flour all in there. Just keep using um, either your hands, or here I'm using a spatula, kind of break apart the starter to get all of that flour touched by some of the moisture because you're going to let it autolyse for one hour. So you want every bit of the dry flour to kind of be combined and make a shaggy dough. To your one hour of autolyse time, it is add time to add 20 grams of salt and 60 more grams of water. I just go back and forth between adding the salt and water and mix it in with kind of the pinch and squeeze method. that you've gotten the salt and water completely blended in, it is time to rest that dough for yet another hour. Then you are going to perform your first set of stretch and fold. And this is easy, you need a wet hand. So I use a spray bottle, but just a bowl of water that you dip your hands in is fine. You're going to pull the dough out to the side and fold it over the top. And then I just go around the bowl. And since this is the first one, it's pretty elastic. It pulls out pretty well. And then I shape this into kind of a neat ball and cover it up and let it rest for another 30 minutes. Now that that 30 minutes is gone, it is time to do something called a lamination. So you're first you're gonna divide the dough into equal size portions because this is going to make two loaves of bread. And at this point, I'm going to start the lamination. So the lamination is just taking one of the loaves of bread and stretching it out into a large rectangle shape, getting the dough fairly thin. You're helping to add some strength and structure to the dough. And then I am spreading about a half a cup of chopped up Asiago over top of the bread. Now, if I had this to do over again, since this was a requested loaf of bread, um, it's not something I had made before. I think I would use shredded Asiago at this point, but I normally cube up my cheese, but Asiago is a very hard cheese. It doesn't melt as much as something, say, like a cheddar would do. Go ahead and repeat the lamination process with your second loaf of bread.
At this point, you are going to rest and cover your dough for an hour, and then it's time to begin the pre-shape. So when that hour is up, you're going to pre-shape your dough and let it rest for 30 minutes. Pre-shaping your dough just adds a little shape, structure, and strength to your dough. So 30 minutes after you have pre-shaped, it's time to do your final shape and get um, your resting vessels. This would do great in a loaf pan. So if you do not have Banneton's, loaf pans would do just fine. And all I'm doing now is doing a final shape and kind of stitching it closed using some rice flour so that it doesn't stick. So I just stretch it out into a square, fold the corners in, fold the centers in, and then roll it up. I used a little bit of extra flour because I felt my dough was a little sticky at that point. Just don't use too much flour. Then you're going to cover this with a tea towel and let it rest on your counter for two to three hours. Now, once you notice that your dough is ready to be cold fermented, then go ahead and cover that up. Stick it in the refrigerator from anywhere from 12 to 72 hours. All right, when you're ready to bake, go ahead and preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. You are gonna bake this covered for 30 minutes, uncovered for 15 minutes. I added a little bit of shredded Asiago on top. Now, I'm not a professional baker, but I do think that this came out quite well, so I hope that you will give this a try. And as you can see, it came out fantastic. The person that requested this said that they loved it. Thank you for joining me here at White Shadow Fair. I hope that you will consider subscribing and hitting that like button.